being in an uh, Asian family and stuff like that, um, it's, you know, it's quite heterosexual sort of, you know, that sort of moral thing. But, um, and it expects you to get married, grow up, get married, have kids, blah de blah de blah But, um, no, from a very young age, really, you know, you sort of, I used to watch a lot of Oriental films, um, in Ch not not the Kung Fu ones, but the sort of more drama ones, like the Hong Kongese equivalent to Home and Away or something. And, um, you know, you just see the male characters, but you sort of wanted to be in their position. But then as you grew up, you sort of, like, admired them, but basically felt attraction to them. So, yeah, I mean, from a very young age, you know, so... so it's just grew, grew up with it, really. I suppose everyone grows up with the way their sexuality and they sort of get aware of it as they're more older, they get older and older. I told my best friend at the time, I'd keep in contact with her anyway, now, but uh, she seemed to know anyway, but I told her and she was like, oh, and she, she did, you know, everyone did everything not to tread on my toes and in the end it really got annoying and I just said, you know, relax, chill, because it's, you know, it's just nothing, you don't even need to mention it, it's nothing, at the end of the day to me it's just, you know, like, half the time I don't even know I'm gay. You know, I'm just human, I'm just here. And that's, you know, I just enjoy my life. I don't really care whether you're gay, straight, bi, whatever. Wait, when do you know when you're gay or not? I just, I, I, I'm not gay, I can't really comment on that. The pressure on um, gay men and women to consent to sexual activity is no more or less than that put upon heterosexual men and women. And I think that people know at quite a young age where their sexual orientation lies. I don't, I don't say, hi, my name is David, I'm gay. As I said, I don't really, uh, a lot of the time I don't really care, because um, it doesn't pop into my mind as much as, you know, um, there's more, sometimes, some, yeah, a lot of the time there's more important things that I focus on. I don't really think it should be legalised at all, but then I'm 85 and rather old-fashioned. Because you have to travel for the traffic jam every day. But in saying that, there's a lot of interesting people you meet on the tube. It's really funny. It's amazing what you see. I love it, but I hate it. Especially when you get in the rush hour. In traditional China, there used to be arranged marriages and people were put there to reproduce, to have a big family, to show pride. And a lot of Asian cultures are the same, I see it as the same, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes the Western culture as well. I think youth groups are fantastic. Um, youth groups help you, I mean, for me, I just go there to relax. The idea behind gay youth groups is to give young people who think they're either lesbian, gay or bisexual, first of all, the opportunity to have somewhere to socialise. Secondly, to give them the opportunity to meet people uh, who they can who they can identify with in terms of their sexuality and and also gives young people the opportunity to get information and support around 
some of the issues that may not have any other access to support. It's quite good sometimes, I suppose. The good things are um, you can be quite outrageous and get away with it. But um, it's also very much a, the culture, the gay culture, is very much into looks and about being young, what's depressing because you worry about getting old. So that's a bad point of view. So. But other than that, yeah, I, I quite like being young and gay. What I mainly want is for gays, lesbians and bisexuals to be equal in work, equal in school, equal in college, equal in the community. Youth groups have done so much for me. The one in, I go to the local one in Waterloo, um, Energy, and uh, it's, it's great. I meet new friends, I, I meet lots of people. And sometimes we do workshops, um, writing workshops, or sometimes we have parties. And, um, you know, you make friends, you go out with them, you socialise, go to cafes. It's great, you know, youth groups are so good. I think it, you can't be compared with the proper man and wife relationship, which leads to family life and so on. If we were just put on here to reproduce, what about love? Where's love? If you say the Lord loves you, or God loves you, then why, why can't we be able to show love to each other? It makes no sense to me. And when you go out there as a person, you know, you just got to look out where you're going, what you're doing. I mean, it's dangerous anyway, so there's cars and everything, you just get knocked over. But there's people out there waiting. There's people out there targeting people just to, to, to attack. And you've got to be smart enough to watch out where you're going and watch out that you don't get attacked. I mean, you've got to expect it, but, you know, you've just got to be smart about it. I think society isn't homophobic in general, but a lot of people don't understand all the issues, and it's that that creates the impression that it's homophobic. It's often lack of understanding, um, people that haven't experienced working alongside lesbian and gay staff, um, they've got their own stereotypes, which um, you need to be challenged to see that things aren't as they first thought. And it's that that creates the impression that perhaps if you walk into a police station, and many people have had personal experiences, negative experiences, and we're, as a police service we're trying to change that. Gallup works with the police in a variety of ways. Um, one main way that we work with the police is um, with Scotland Yard and with the newly formed community advisory group made up of members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community and Gallup has two representatives on that um, and that group will be advising the Met on their strategy for working with lesbian and gay victims of homophobic crime and on a local division level um, Gallup in the long term aims to have a worker in most of the boroughs across London and in the short term we work in about seven or eight local borough liaison groups so, so with the local police in their community advisory groups as well. It's, it's just it's just like part of my a part of me like my hands or body sometimes you just don't realise they're even there but it's just a part of you. Young people should be able to feel comfortable discovering it, not 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 like it's a new world but it's there and they're slowly exploring something as they grow up with it not just to discover it in a bang